For decades, the Big Bang Theory has been the dominant explanation for the origin and evolution of the universe. The theory suggests that around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe was a supermassive black hole, a point of infinite density and temperature. The stars, galaxies and planets we see today formed when the cosmos expanded and cooled from this singularity. However, some scientists have recently begun questioning the validity of the Big Bang Theory. The scientific community is working with the James Webb Space Telescope and others on proving the Big Bang Theory wrong as they believe it has some potential flaws. Could they be wrong? Stay tuned as we delve deeper to discover how James Webb proves Stephen Hawking's multiverse theory. One of the biggest criticisms of the Big Bang Theory is that it cannot explain specific observations, such as the uniform temperature of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the fact that the universe expands at an accelerating rate. One alternative theory that has gained traction recently is the multiverse theory, proposed by renowned physicist Stephen Hawking. According to this theory, our universe is just one of an infinite number of universes that exist parallel to one another. These universes may have different laws of physics, different histories and different outcomes. New evidence from the James Webb Space Telescope may provide further support for the multiverse theory. The telescope is designed to study some of the most distant and ancient objects in the universe and its observations may reveal clues about the nature of the universe that the Big Bang Theory cannot explain. So what does all this mean for the Big Bang Theory? It's important to note that scientific theories are constantly being revised and updated as new evidence is discovered. While the Big Bang Theory has been a cornerstone of modern cosmology for decades, it may be revised or even replaced as new evidence comes to light. Scientists have been looking for signs of other universes for years and now, with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, they may have found them. So how does Stephen Hawking's multiverse theory prove that the Big Bang was wrong? Stephen Hawking was a brilliant scientist who came up with the theory of a multiverse in the 1960s. He said that our universe is just one of many, all separated by an infinite distance. He called this his theory of the many worlds. The multiverse theory suggests that our universe, with its tens of billions of light years, hundreds of billions of galaxies, and almost an infinite number of stars, may not be the only one. Instead, there might be another universe far away from ours, and another, and another. In fact, there may be an infinite number of galaxies, each with its own set of physical laws, its own collection of stars and galaxies, and its intelligent civilizations. Even scarier is that each individual here on planet Earth may have a replica in this universe. This research by Professor Herzog has partly been funded by the European Research Council. He first discussed the new theory in July 2017 at a conference at the University of Cambridge to celebrate Professor Hawking's 75th birthday. In their paper, Hawking and Hertog say that this theory of the Big Bang that uses eternal inflation is wrong. Hawking and Hertog's theory of eternal inflation is based on string theory. It is a branch of theoretical physics that combines gravity, general relativity and quantum physics. One way it does this is by describing the essential parts of the universe as tiny vibrating strings. Their method is based on the idea of holography from string theory, which says that the universe is a giant complex hologram. The theory was ready to be published before Hawking died earlier in 2018. It is based on string theory and says that the universe is finite and much more straightforward than many current prominent bang theories say. Although people thought he was crazy for years, the James Webb Space Telescope was then put into space. And in the end, it showed that he was right the whole time. No other telescope has been able to see as far as the James Webb Space Telescope. Scientists call the redshifted galaxies that could be seen with the infrared telescope. Scientists think these redshifted galaxies prove that other universes have been around for much longer than ours. 
They are also trying to find out if aliens from another universe have ever visited us in the past or present. If they find signs of life in space, it will prove that there are many universes. Meanwhile, by looking at gravitational waves, the telescope has found other universes growing faster than ours. Ranga Ramchari, the lead researcher from the Texas A&M University, says that we live in a bubble universe with many Big Bangs. There are more than 100 different kinds of galaxies, and we could be a part of them. Scientists have thought that there are parallel universes for a long time, but now they have proof. The James Webb Space Telescope has found signs of a universe similar to ours, except it is a little younger. Scientists think that our universe could be just one of many out there and that each one would be different from the one we live in. They found a strong signal from an infrared galaxy called Max 1149 JD1. They think this signal came from a primordial gravitational wave, which means it came from an event that happened so long ago or is probably so far away that light from it hasn't reached us yet. This new information shows an infinite number of universes, each with its own history. It's a great discovery that will change how we think about the universe for good. Anthony Aguirre, a physicist at the University of California in Santa Cruz, said that the world may have had more than one history simultaneously. It would mean that everything is possible. There could be infinite planets with water and life, or none at all. There could also be an endless number of stars and galaxies, or none at all. And the dark matter? It still remains one of the universe's biggest mysteries. We don't know what it is, but it is an invisible form of matter that makes up 27% of the universe. Scientists believe that dark matter might be made of particles that don't interact with light, which is why we can't see it. But the new pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope show that for the first time, dark matter does interact with light. Scientists have figured out how much dark matter there is and where it is in our galaxy and beyond. When looking at data from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer satellite, a team led by Dr. Jens Thomas at Germany's Max Planck Institute of Extraterrestrial Physics found these results. The best proof that there is more than one universe is that there is intelligent life that can make cosmological observations. McCullen Sandora, a research scientist affiliated with the Blue Marble Space Institute of Science, has argued that the stability of complex nuclei, the abundance of carbon in the universe, and the availability of sufficient light for photosynthesis are all factors that make our solar system a special place where life can flourish. Sandora told Live Science in an email that if you were given a random universe, none of these things are likely to be true, Sandora said. The multiverse is one way to explain why all these things are good in our universe. It says that there are other universes, but we see this one because it can support complex life. If more work confirms their results, it would mean a lot for our thinking about the multiverse. Regardless of what the future holds, one thing is sure. The search for answers about the evolution and origin of the universe is a never-ending quest. And with the James Webb Space Telescope and other cutting-edge technologies, we may be closer than ever to unlocking some of the mysteries of the cosmos. Do you agree with us on this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.